Hello again everyone, Truck CB Sales here. There's a before and after video for Kurt in Kentucky on this Ranger RCI 69 FFB4. Kurt, you sent this over to me. Um, I didn't ask where you got it uh, or anything. You just explained to me that it seemed to be off frequency when keyed up on AM and sideband and, and it didn't have the modulation the other radios I provided you with had. Now sometimes these counters will drift, but when the radio's set up right, they won't drift very much. Uh, the 69 series is, is known for a slight amount of drift, uh, no matter you know what you do to try to prevent it. There I am keying up, 250 watt slug. It's keying almost 200 watts, dead key wide open. Hello, swinging backwards to 125. Hello, 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 it's 500 watts there exactly on peak, but we're swinging backwards on average. That's a problem. Alrighty, and we're back. Kurt, we got it all fixed up for you here. Our tune alignment, amp on off switch on the back, Toshiba voltage regulator upgrade, and it's ready to go. It's gonna start with the arc power all the way down. 250 watt slug, just a little over 20 watts all the way down, I'll roll it all the way up, right at 150. Now if you remember before it was swinging backwards on average power, let's see where we're at now. Low, low, 250 watts of bird average power. 1000 watt slug in PEP, low, actually we're not in PEP, there we go. <laughs> Hello, about 575. Picked up some peak, but the most important thing is we've got your bird wattage going forward now. So you're gonna notice crisper, clear audio. Um, you're gonna get a lot better reports, AM and sideband. All right, Kurt, it's ready to come to you, bud. I hope you enjoy it. For your friend truck at truckcbsales.com. Bye-bye.